Well, Sedalia was hit. The first damage reports came across the state line. Severe weather in Lewisburg destroyed a truck, knocked down trees, and damaged homes. Now, Russ Potosik has been in Lewisburg throughout the afternoon. He's there with another story of survival. Russ? Hey, Mark and Elizabeth, when the twister fell out of the sky here in Lewisburg, a mother and son were just a half, a half a block up the street in their truck. They were fighting their way through the storm to get here to the safety of their home. We made it. Everybody's safe. Sherry Steffen held back tears as she recounted the desperate flee to safety. The truck was rocking pretty good, and all I could do was scream. She and son Nicholas were 100 feet from home. And there was just this thin tornado that came straight down, and immediately instinct took over, and I floored it. A tree crashed into their neighbor's home as they felt their truck lifting off the ground. The twister also picked up this truck and smashed it to the highway, knocked down trees and toppled tombstones at a Lewisburg cemetery, and tossed this shed across the street. We tried to get in our driveway, and as we were turning into our driveway, it, you could feel the truck start to teeter, and we, it was almost like hydroplaning for a second. And it was shaking, and all I could think of was we needed to get in the basement. They had to push aside tree limbs just to get inside. We almost didn't make it. We got really lucky. I can't imagine. But it was scary. Tree limbs are dropping and they're blocking the door. They had to climb over the tree limbs and fight strong winds to get the door open. By the time they got in, the storm was over. Much more. Oh, unfortunately, That's really amazing. Lost our live signal there. Another amazing story mm -hmm. of Survivor. Glad they're okay.